Now to our continuing series, Retirement Ready. If you have access to a 401k or traditional pension in your job, consider yourself to be lucky. Nearly 57 million Americans work for an employer that does not offer a retirement savings plan. Tonight, CBS's Janet Shamlin takes a look at some of the consequences. You guys are trying to get away. A walk with Rosie and Logan is a rare break for Marianne O'Connor. The puppies. Then she's back on her laptop, juggling two jobs, sometimes up to 11 hours a day. What did you think you'd be doing at 66? Oh, I would hope to be retired. <laughs> and what are you doing at 66? I'm working my butt off. <laughs> no savings, no 401k, not even enough to cover an emergency. She sold her home and with two other women, bought a smaller one, living together to save money. Thank you very much. How has that been? Well, it's been a, a matter of life and death. Roughly half of all Americans, ages 55 to 66, have nothing saved for retirement. Spicy, yeah. O'Connor knew she'd be in that group, adopting and raising three children as a single mom. I have a live for now philosophy, I guess. How's that serving you now? Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> You can always improve your situation. For her and others without Absolutely. a nest egg, experts say it's Absolutely. not too late to make a plan. Continue to work, lower your cost of living, save what you can, delay Social Security benefits until 70 to get the largest monthly check possible, and avoid risky investments to make up for lost time. The higher the promised returns, the more you want to do in real research. To enjoy her senior years, O'Connor's gotten creative. It's nice to not be alone. Forming the trip planning company Kindred Women Travelers, allowing her to see a slice of the world, even if she's on the job while doing it. What would you say to younger women? I guess I would now say that they need to start planning as early as they can. Financial challenges for many, tarnishing the golden years of retirement. Yes, I know. Janet Shamley and CBS News, Cumberland, Rhode Island.